Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zeus back again with Miscellaneous Madness and today we'll be checking out the top five most haunted places here in Austin, Texas. Paranormal enthusiasts, let's go. Okay, so coming in at number five, we have the Littlefield Home. This magnificent Victorian home located on the UT campus looks pretty ominous to begin with. Looking at it kind of gives me the feeling that it's staring back at me, not gonna lie. It is said that the ghost of Alice Littlefield herself roams this home as well as parts of the UT campus, mainly the women's dorm rooms. Some believe that she was imprisoned in her home or suffered from agoraphobia. It is documented that Alice suffered from mental illness and also was prone to fits of hysteria. Legend has it that Alice was locked away in an attic for her protection, fearing being kidnapped and murdered by Yankees. Alice passed away at the age of 88 in 1935, leaving the beloved home to the university in which it still stands today. Okay, so next on our list is Austin's Inn at Pearl Street, built in 1896 as the home of Judge Charles A. Wilcox. After becoming vacant and run down back in the 1980s, the home was later purchased and renovated as an inn in the 1990s. Okay, so check this out. It has been reported that a woman carrying a child is often seen roaming the halls or sitting peacefully in a rocking chair. Workers have reported hearing as much as strange noises, music, and seeing lights flicker on and off. I don't know about you, but nothing says B&B &B more than a beautiful Victorian home, great food, and a creepy vibe. Coming in at number three, we have the Texas State Capitol Building. Now, this is a building I've visited numerous times, and each time I will say, in some places it does tend to get a little bit eerie. It has been said that a lady wearing a red dress haunts a secret stairwell in which her and her lover used to meet. It is also rumored that a comptroller who was working at his desk was shot and killed and this guy haunts these exact same grounds. There have been numerous sightings of weird orbs, several ghosts, and numerous unexplained disturbances all throughout the building. So are you planning a trip to the state capitol building anytime soon? Hmm, well tell me, which is scarier, a politician or a ghost? I'll wait. Okay, so here we go. Number two, the Omni Hotel downtown. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. The Omni is pretty new. How the hell can they have ghosts? Well, don't you like nice and new things? Why wouldn't a ghost? Though it is very rare to hear ghost stories coming from newer buildings, it is said that a man named Jack jumped from a balcony after realizing he was unable to pay his tab and fell to his death. Guests have reported hearing Jack in his room at all hours of the night. There have been numerous reports from staff members of strange phenomenon anywhere in the vicinity of Jack's room. And get this, Jack's name still remains in the log of the hotel. Okay guys, so we finally reached number one. But before we move on to what number one is, I would like to give a quick recap of the past four locations. Just kidding. Number one, the Driscoll Hotel on 6th Street. By far the most haunted attraction here in Austin, Texas. In fact, the Driscoll Hotel is so infested with ghosts that the staff members even have a handout on them. Built in 1886 by Jesse Driscoll, who reportedly lost the hotel during a bet in a card game. But believe me, that doesn't stop old Jesse from hanging around. It is said that he makes his presence known by the smell of cigar smoke, and he is very, very fond of the ladies. There have also been reports of ghosts who will move furniture, push guests, hide your belongings, and also make your bed. By the way, 
Did I mention there's a ghost that actually operates the elevator? Not to mention a four-year-old girl who fell to her death and now haunts a painting that still hangs in the hotel. All right, everybody, that's gonna be it for today. If you like the video, most definitely hit the like button, subscribe. Um, most definitely jump in the comments and let me know if you're gonna be checking out any of these places or pretty much what you thought about any of the places that, that were mentioned here today. Uh, if you heard any stories about it, I would like to know. If you know any other places here in Austin that may be haunted or there's any place in Texas pretty much that you heard about, let me know in the comments or inbox me. Uh, again, like, subscribe. And look forward to more videos. Again, Zeus, and I'm out.